Hey guys, welcome to our review of Common Rider Build episode 43. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today we have... Ascender Blaze. And Mako Toa. My dudes... Oh, that's not right. Guys, welcome back. Uh, and we finished watching Build yesterday. If you want to check out our uh, watch along for that, that is available on this channel. But, as always, it was good. Actually, not last week. Last week it was eh. But this week it was really good. It came back... Uh, and punched us in the face with its uh, quality. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And that is our <laughs> review. <laughs> <laughs> but um, last week I had lamented that there was something missing from that episode. And what I had thought it was was that... It was me. No, we didn't miss you it. You wouldn't have made it uh, the... better, despite how good you are. <laughs> Uh, I, I thought it was missing those those peaks and valleys of balancing serious and funny, but it, what it was actually missing was any interaction, any meaningful interaction between Banjo and Sento. Last episode, they barely interacted. This episode, they were, ah, right, uh, all together. Frick. Did not <laughs> land. Uh, like seeing that moment, like at the very end, where Bonjo was one that pick was picking Sento up. Like mm -hmm. I know it goes back and forth, like frequently. You know, this mm -hmm. is probably like the fifth yeah. or sixth time that they've done it in this series. Like it still like never gets old because like no, yeah, their yeah. problems are always changing, and mm -hmm. this is one of the first mm -hmm. problems that is really. Mm -hmm. Are they? The situations are kind of changing. I mean. I feel like we backtracked a little with Sento's problem. Like, oh, now that I know that my dad made it with evil intentions or not to save the world, I don't know how I can live with myself. Well, like, yeah, in that regard, like, it kind of... <laughs> the problem with that is that it doesn't make as much sense. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, I kind of understand their intent behind it because, like... Um, like the rest of the series, Sento was kind of thinking like um, his father created the build to help fight and stop Evolt. But then when he kind of realizes that, Wait, like, what oh, are you cause... talking about? Not the whole series, because he didn't even know he had a dad or who his dad was until he realized he was Katsuragi. And even then, he didn't have that emotional connection till recently. Actually, yeah, you got a good point. Right. Okay. So, a, f a majority of the more recent episodes, he just believed that it was <laughs> it was meant for fighting and stopping a vault. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now that it's no longer the case, just like, wait, then what is this for anyways? You know, like, what can I trust? My man or the machine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, you know, um, I still felt it in the moment. It was very enjoyable to watch when, when Sento was going through that stuff, and even when uh, Misora comes in and has another chat with him. Mm -hmm. But when when Ryuga wakes up or gets up and joins the battle, that was very enjoyable. That was very and, like oh, back to the back to the way it should be. Back to the, the good right. stuff. Those but moments I feel like, like I feel like what he said really resonated with kind of our discussion of this episode. Like it doesn't matter how we got, like, Banjo argued that, hey, just because, um, you know, what we thought was a lie doesn't mean our feelings aren't real, doesn't mean uh, we're not still superheroes. He's like, oh, you're well, right. It's and then our, our, just because... Our deals aren't an illusion. Right. Just because, just because it was a really stupid way of getting here doesn't mean the, the emotion... The heart is any less Im any less impactful, at least for me, uh, between the two of them. Yeah. What you you have a face of like I don't quite understand. No, no I'm, I'm just glancing at my. Oh, you're talking about oh, Michael. Yeah. I don't know who you're talking to, but I was not. I'm. I mean, like I disagree, but we can continue. Well, no, I want. I want to talk this. about that. Why do you disagree? Um. Because I don't necessarily think that it's out of character for him to feel that way. Why? About his father. 
you know. Yeah, well, but um, the thing is, like, the problem that um, was it Sento's father kind of introduces doesn't make sense because it wasn't really relevant in the first like half of the series. Honestly, you know, like can... all the things that he was fighting for, you know, it didn't really matter kind of like in this situation for some reason you know yeah and all that all that sento knows now is up until high school right or up until middle school he doesn't have the context of um katsuragi uh taking on the build system and fine-tuning it uh to defeat evil he just knows that he did that you know I mean they had a they had a talk in his memory land between the two of them mm-hmm. and they kind of talked about, you know, whose memories were being He's like, "You understand it all now." I think that's exactly it. I'm I'm watching the part right now actually. Uh-huh. Just to refresh my memory. And it seems like because he has that other fragment of his memory back explains why he has those feelings because it's more than just the it's more than just the character we've known up till now that's why it wouldn't have been relevant like alex says all up till this time because he didn't know but now he does i mean it still feels kind of shoehorned in there because it does come out of nowhere but maybe they could have alluded to it more i think that they, they were definitely including the father and in more of like the relevancy of the of the discussion for the past I know, I feel like this kind of conflict is just something that they just tacked on to the, like, the plot that we're already on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because before this, you know, when Evolt was kind of the biggest shit around, one of the conflicts that Sento was kind of having was like, oh, you know, like, Evolt was kind of just, like, you know, manipulating everything. And then, Mm -hmm. you know, he kind of had, like, the talk with Misora, with Banjo, with, like, basically everyone, and they still kind of, like, overcame and fought him and then mm-hmm. the stuff with his father is like oh my father this changes everything and it's like no it doesn't shut the fuck up yeah. <laughs> like, like, he took Bonjo to like actually come up and like tell him that so yeah uh, like despite how <laughs> stupid like Sento's kind of problem with that is like mm-hmm. he's a grown ass adult he shouldn't be like thinking of it in that way but I guess like since the characters are so likable I'm able to kind of forgive stuff yeah, like that yeah Especially and, when we get scenes like the end of this episode. Yeah. And what's a bit more irksome is that we got this sort of plot thread earlier and it was sort of executed better. Uh, and that was when uh, the shop owner revealed that, oh, he was evil the whole time. Ta- or he was Brad the whole time. And then that shook. Like, because... What we got to see was how he affected the rest of the team. We as the audience don't really have the context of how... We've only been told that his dad affected him. But we saw and we felt uh, the uh, Brad's... No. uh, the, The shop owner's influence on the team. And to have that, like, foundation shaken... Uh, I feel like that was more effective storytelling earlier than it was here. Agreed. And, yeah, and that it was treated with the same weight is a bit off-putting. Yeah. I mean, they're going to treat a lot of that kind of stuff with, I would say, that level of weight because we've had these big you know, emotional beats before where a character has, or at least Sento has doubted himself and then Ryuga's come back to like reassure him and I I mean it it doesn't get old for me because it's kind of the dynamic they have that anytime that Ryuga has or anytime that Sento has like doubts in himself or in his ideals or whatever that Ryuga can come back and like prop him up or reassure him in his beliefs and stuff and so it's not it's not unpleasant for me to see it even if like the storytelling didn't hit as hard as it, it sh- should have or could have or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to, like, knock it, though, as a result of it not hitting as hard this time well, around. No, like I, like I was saying, um, at the end of the day, like, yeah, it was weak, 
but I appreciate that we got here and that we got the emotion that we did between Banjo and uh, Sento. And I did like, I, I, I would have liked a little bit more um, with Misora and how they would have been struggling to get her back and maybe sort of focus it around that instead. Um, to see Sento so hung up on someone we haven't seen before and who we don't have too much context of is kind of what I take issue with, and I would have liked to see more of the Misora interaction. Yeah, because, like, he kind of solved that really fast, you know? He Just did, like... yeah. But that's this show, solved really fast. Sento like, was yeah, gone I'm for thinking, a day. Like, we, we resolved this in the same episode, so I don't know why. I mean, like, it, I guess if you're saying that it's because we also had the Misora stuff in the same episode and you wish we saw more of that, I can understand, but um, I'm kind of interested to see what happens with uh, the current development of where the queen is now. Because it's apparently not in Misora anymore. That was one of the significant things that happened, uh, mm -hmm. kind of like the twist at the end of the episode. Or maybe they just decided that she was going to be irrelevant for the rest of the series. So they're oh, just no, going to be like, oh. I feel like uh, the biggest twist of the episode was Potato Farmer and... Uh, uh, getting together and going off on their own to uh, on their own to to infiltrate their base. At the end, they're like, "Oh, sir, we got intruders!" And then it's those two idiots. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the shirt meme has never been more amazing. Yeah, no, oh, I, man. I, I, his glorious I, exit. Doesn't <laughs> 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 say a single fucking word. To, oh. oh, just takes off this. Jacket. Oh, <laughs> that was that is good. The only, that is the only way to leave a room. That's yeah, and like, we saw his face, like just like near crying. <laughs> 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 Couldn't tell if she's on the verge of like tears from like you know actual crying or just laughing, but oh man, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that just got me real, real good. It was, yeah. it was like. Because the show seems to balance the like comedy and the set, the like mm -hmm. the the mood or the sadness or the upset tension stuff like really oh. well, it just came out of nowhere for me when we just had this hugely like upsetting moment for um and it was a well acted moment I would say by Potato Farmer he got all up on uh, uh Sento's like yeah. collar and was like what are you doing you know. He could have this, that, and the other thing. Well, I mean, I don't blame him because he could have died yeah. this episode. And that was scary. I forgot about that. But then immediately after that, the other dude, like, he's like, I'm out of here. And then soon after, we had uh, Gentoku. Gentoku shows up and he's like, what was, <laughs> it? what was it? It wasn't agreed. That was Disagree. the second one. I disagree or something. No, it was. Um, you have the episode up. It was Why don't you just well. look? I oh, think. Okay. Um, but Is that there? that moment was when I realized, oh wait, that's not what was missing because we had that like, oh wait, we didn't have that the last episode. No, oh. I feel like uh, the comedy in this episode was a lot uh, stronger, and I think much needed because oh, yeah. like they were like kind of sporadically spread throughout. It just felt really good to have those moments. <laughs> yeah, no, I, but like for me, like that's the moment I realized, oh no, wait, that's not what was missing last episode like they can have the peaks and valleys but i wasn't like feeling it yet i was like oh no hmm. am i missing something for this is probably just me am i am it's I probably not... just you yeah farewell <laughs> so, i i wasn't i wasn't understanding what was going on with build at least for me up until the moment banjo showed up to to help sento so yeah but like for me like we don't need a Sento Banjo moment to make an episode because we've had plenty of those episodes. Right, right. But I don't know. Um, what do you guys think about uh, Misora doing that crying thing with Sento again? Because we're kind of talking about how, uh, or at least I was talking about how some of the conflicts kind of always change. But this one, I feel like um, this one actually got on my nerves slightly. Which you one? Know? Wait, what conflict? Um. I forgot, like, what they were actually arguing about, but um, when, like, Miso was kind of just, like, crying with uh, Sento because he's probably going to do something. Okay, he's Sento, just like, no. Sento was at his computer, and, he, and then he, like, slammed the monitor off of the desk. 
That was dope. That yeah. was. And then she yeah. comes in and she's like, you know, I love bought and that peace. TV. Oh. Love and peace. I'm sure you can still. It's different this time. No angst. <laughs> <laughs> I fought thinking that this device was made for good. It wasn't. It was made for evil. It can't go on. Oh man! I don't know. Part of me wishes Gentoku would deliver lines like that because I feel like he would have <laughs> sold that. All- oh, <laughs> I don't know if he has to deliver it, but if he had a series of different shirts that he just keep opening up. <laughs> <laughs> but the oh thing about God. that is, like, he still has to deliver those lines via shirt yeah, as well. Yeah. Like the way he just does it—that swagger on his face. Or <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it just. It works. Yeah. They, man, this comedy just works. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand it. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay, well, um, I think that just about does it for our discussion, huh? We've yeah. gone on for a bit. Mm-hmm. Unless right, you want to cool. cycle through the same uh, problems that we've done this entire, you know... Choker. Great. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I... If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Don't forget, we also do watch alongs that came out yesterday. So if you want to check out our watch along for Build Episode Forty Three, just go on over to the channel and watch it with us, because that's what we do. Guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy. Yes, I understood what you were trying to say. I did not. Can you explain it? <laughs> Can you explain it? Oh, you know, like how seconds. we kind of talk about like the same shit in every yeah, single yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, hundred percent. It was a reference to how they have the same struggles in the show, and we yeah, no, we I, talk I understand about... the dichotomy. There you go.